All right, let's uh, continue where we left off, shall we? Terp server, mc.terpons.com. All right, then. Got a whole bunch of uh, stuff popping up there. And I'm going this way. Continuing from where we left off by Gonzalez's house and the Jello Mold. Seriously, why Jello Mold? Sorry. This here, this is the boss's house. And uh, Pierce, 1999. Now, there was a third guy. His name was Cars something. But uh, for some reason, they didn't like him. Even though he was a real life friend. And, um, yeah, they kicked him out. So, first thing you'll notice is it's using just basic materials. Cobble, stone, torches, got some pictures in there. Uh, chests, couch, nice nice design, basically. You know, gives the view. They got, you know, couches, so they do have a little uh, flare for interior design here. Uh, that goes to their mine. Yeah, they don't. They don't not like people in their uh, in their minds. I was down there just checking up on them once and uh, just saying hello, and they were like, "Oh no, no, you didn't." I'm like, "Oh crap!" And they chased me out of there, and I'm like, "Ah, damn it!" But yeah, that was pretty funny anyway. Um, let's see. Let's go up here. Okay. Now, one interesting aspect of this house is it's basically two houses together. And they're joined at the top and the bottom and the midsection here. So it looks like two houses combined into one. Okay, there's the boss's room. It's pretty good. Looks like I uh, got a nice view out there. That might be what that pool of water is for at the top. Here, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. See, they got this pool of water up here, and I'm not sure what it's for. It's either for water, or it's for that drip effect out his window. I, I don't know, honestly. Uh, this here, this is their own little private uh, railway. They were um, they were riding this up and down yesterday, just continuously bumping into each other. It was hilarious. It's their own little private roller coaster. And of course, another corner. So, yep, simple house. It's pretty good. Let's see what I mean by the two houses combined? It's like a wood house and a cobble house. Okay, this over here. And this is the um, house for Citizen of the Bow. He's one of the overseers on the server. He's based this house on the um, the library from it, the Deary Public Library. And see, there's his name right there. And as first thing you'll notice is it's raining in the library, just like it was on the uh, on the show. He's got a layer of water up there. It's uh, to give that drip effect. It's got some uh, quotes scattered around from the movie, like breathing in that fresh deary air. This is supposed to be the head inside the refrigerator. He's got um. Let's see another quote here. He thrusts his fist against the posts and ins and still insists he sees the ghost. I'm sorry, if my voice seems kind of blah. I just woke up a little bit ago. Uh, see, so Derry's own William Denebrow. <laughs> it's got a book. Uh, let's see. There's the egg. that's where it came in. Oh crap! There's the it. Let's uh, zoom in on. Ah. <laughs> Uh, it's freaking creepy skin. He, he pops up all over the place. In the sewers, behind people, he's probably the creepiest overseer we have. <laughs> a little bit young for you, isn't she, Richie? Okay, got a wall of pictures here. Okay, just a side room, nothing big. Ah, uh, the one tree. <laughs> Friggin' one tree shrine. Uh, we got this inside joke with this uh, one tree that we all worship because we're cultists. Three bows for respect. Okay. And now, one aspect of the library which I find interesting. Oh, let me close the door here. <laughs> this is the joke he says at the end of the library scene. 
The, do you have Prince Albert in the can? You do? Well, you better let the poor guy out. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, Nostalgia Critic made an inside joke about that. Just kept looping it over and over again. It's freaking hilarious. Okay, right now we just fell into the sewer, and this is his other quote. They all float. They all float. Now, he's been working on the, um... On this for a little bit, this is, uh, attaches to our sewer system. This is actually based on the sewer area uh, in the movie, where it, uh, escapes. Now, I have my brightness turned up, just so we can see everything in here. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's freaking hilarious. You see where that zombie is? That's the hole that it escapes after the kids fight them. And then, uh, this is how we get out of the sewer. This will send us down under this normal sewer. Eh, this is that sewer system I showed you before. So here. See, those are those manholes I've been talking about. And there we go. Uh, let's see, what's next on the agenda? Let's do, um, let's do Beast Staples' little compound here. Beast Staples, he's a uh, Spam's friend, a uh, Spam Lots. And he basically cleaned this whole area here. This was a lake before it froze over. Uh, it did have a drawbridge and some nice little aspects, but that kind of changed with the ice. Just a small little shack here. Apparently, it's fishing hunt. Okay. And then this goes up to his uh, <laughs> his treehouse. Now, the interesting part is we actually have two of these on the surfer. Uh, one built by Merces and the other one built by B Staples. B Staples tends to bring a little more element of the tree aspect into it. As you can see, it's pretty much all just leaves and wood. Uh, Mercy's has a little bit more design to it. Okay. Just basically a simple thing. It's got uh, outlooks, overlooks, things like that. Just what you would expect from a treehouse. Nothing bad, nothing bad. Got bookcases, uh, a couple leaves, a logs. Oh yeah, look at that view. See pretty much a lot of the good builds out here. Ah, uh, there's the best build in the world, that's my house. <laughs> Alright, and that's the treehouse. Now, he does have another, um, kind of house. It's under the ground. Uh, that's where he first was before he actually built above ground. Now, uh, that was, he didn't tell me if he wanted me to show the underground part of his house or not, so I'm just not going to show that. But it was uh, pretty interesting. He had, like, a couple tunnels going off in different directions, a couple underground farms. Uh, nothing too special, but still worth a look. Going up the neighborhood more. Like I said, we got roads going everywhere. Okay, this is the uh, home of two new people on the server, uh, Maggie and um, I wonder. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty much uh, share everything. Uh, it's a simple house, uh, you know, basic stuff. They got a farm. They got melons. Uh, we ha we helped them unfreeze that water for their farm. Because it, it kept freezing up on them. Uh, down here is their mine. Now, um, one thing that happened on the server, though, is I wonder was actually griefing and uh, using x-ray. So we had to actually ban him. We haven't seen Maggie since then, 
but um, I'm pretty sure Maggie will be upset once she comes back in. Which is unfortunate, because we, we really like Maggie. We had no problems with I Wonder, but unfortunately when you cheat in grief, you gotta get out. Especially when he gave you uh, three chances. Yeah, we gave him three chances before we banned him. For some reason, everybody built around my house. I, it just kind of worked that way. This right here, this is Mercer's house. Okay, welcome to uh, Mercer's home. Mercer's is uh, one of the sentries on the server. The sentry's kind of like a, a minor mod. They don't have all the powers, but they're still able to track you and, and follow you around and stuff. Out here, he's got a nice little garden. Uh, a lot of the paths are covered up by the snow, unfortunately. But he's got gravel paths looping around the area. He's got his dogs out here. He's got tiki torches. He's got the, uh, the, the classic Minecraft floating pillar thing. Now this hill is actually symmetrical on all sides. Uh, this would be the water gate if you were to enter. There's actually no way to get into it without uh, using the lever. I'm just going to have to use the through command. Uh, I did not want to go that far underground. Okay, let's start at the top then. Uh, this is the top of his building. <laughs> He's got, uh, uh, let's see, got basically some flowers, some trees, some grass, a music box. Nothing in it. Alright, let's go. There we go. As you see, another, another nice view. There's my house again. You can see parts of the Coliseum over there. <laughs> Mods hangout spot. Right. Here's basically his living room area. He's got a sink, uh, stove area, he's got bookcases. Uh, this is where he does his alchemy stuff. Anything good in there? Nope, oh, just another word. Oh, looks like he's been mining a lot, Jesus. Alright. Now, if you're asking about the chest thing, I've asked people before, uh, before I do the tour, and they say it's okay to go through the chests. Um, so it's not like we randomly go through chests, we usually don't. Uh, but on tours, we, we'll usually ask if we can, just to see what's, uh, you know, what people are up to, what they're doing. Um, whenever we're moderating, uh, we'll actually go through the chest of somebody we're investigating. <laughs> Full bold seal of approval. Alchemy area. This is the uh, optimal alchemy uh, situation there. Going back downstairs now. Just another hangout area. Lookout area for his uh, tower. Nice views. <laughs> My house again. See, this is where we would have entered from outside. It's a, it's a water gate, basically. This is where uh, there's a button outside hidden. And it, there it goes. <clears throat> basically, you would push the button to get access, and then that would uh, allow you to come in on a boat. There's, uh, with the way the fences are, with them being a block and a half, there's no way to actually inside without using either the through command, like I did, or the. Um, Obviously breaking it, but that would be griefing. And then there's also front doors, which I completely forgot about. That's what happens when you deviate from the main path, I guess. And there's his boats. Yep, 
and that activates the um, that activates the water gate also. This is underground farm area. Uh, let's see, mine shaft. Anything interesting down there? Oh, it's a spawner. That's pretty interesting. I notice everybody's making these cobble bridges everywhere. Mercy spawner. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <coughs> Looks like he already raided these chests. Yeah, a lot of people keep the spawners active now because of experience, so they'll actually uh, you basically utilize the spawner. So t shut off the torches, start harvesting monsters, get their orbs. Uh, it's always interesting when uh, how humans utilize things that would normally kill them to their advantage. Okay, we use lily pants on the uh, on the fields here. Nice touch. Uh, here's the mushroom farm. Now, like I said, my brightness is turned off, so it's actually darker in here than it is. Um, these here are trap doors. These actually stop mobs from leaving, as you can see here. Actually, you have to open it up to walk out. It's uh, a nice little design there. I think uh, Mercer said it was patented by Ethrid. Oh, yeah, is that mob grinder? He's going to make a grinder, apparently. Why won't this door close? Weird. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, it's basically just mineshaft. <laughs> Food area. Looks like this is where he uh, sleeps. I guess when he's uh, having a hard day of mining and he doesn't feel like climbing up the ladder, he sleeps down in the basement. Alright. And uh, that's Merce's house. Now, on the way out, we'll go into this area here. He made his own little mushroom area. Now, Merce's has a couple secrets around his house. Um, he didn't want me to show the secrets, obviously. But um, they're there. And uh, he might even give a challenge or two if you could find them. Sometimes he'll offer something like, uh, just like a diamond or so, if you could find it. Uh, one of the things I wonder did that was wrong was he actually used his x-ray to find Mercy's chest room underground and dug straight down into it. And then when we asked him what was going on, he was like, oh, I'm just checking my crops. It was hilarious. <laughs> 